so sikal students today we will learn how to find the square root of different decimals so let's take a de let's take a number 625.3765 you can take any number now we will find the square root of this using long division technique the first step is start making pairs from the left side of decimal so the first pair is 25 leave 6 single right now think of a number you have to multiply that number with the same number so that you get a number less than 6 so either you can do 1 into 1 is 1 Two into two is four. You can do three into three is nine, but that is more than six. So this is correct. Two right here. Two two is a four. Now students subtract four from six. You get two. And in the normal division, we will take single digit down, but here we will take two digits down. Now multiply two by two. and you get 4 write it giving some space because we have to add another number here so multiply 2 whatever is the number here you have to multiply that number by 2 that's the method you get 4 here now you have to think of a number here you have to add some number here and you have to multiply this number with the same number which you have added here so that you get a number little less than 225 or equal to 225 so we can how we can guess that number here now you concentrate on 2 and the first two digits so we know 4 5 are 20 you can try with 5 5 45 5 into 5 5 5 are 25 2 5 4 are 20 plus 2 225 so this is done here the number will be 5 here also you write the same number so 45 into 5 is 225 right students but the but the sum is not completed because there is a point here you put the point here also now on the right side of decimal start making pairs so we have two pairs now here there is zero so nothing here you download this pair bring it down 37 right now what will you do now you have to again you know multiply 25 by 2 so this becomes 50 right here there is nothing here there is 37 even if you add one here students even if you had one here 501 and if you multiplied by one it would be 501 which is greater than 37 so here that means the minimum number you can add here is one if you divide 50 if you multiply 501 with one you get 501 but that is greater than 37 so you have to add zero here Once you add zero here, then you are allowed to download, or allowed to bring down the other pair also sixty-five. Now you think of, you know, dividing three six seven five by five zero something, multiplied by something, you get some number. That number should be little less or equal to three seven six five. Let's do that. So, how can we do it? Let's wrap this. One second. Right. So we get. Now let's start again. So we get five zero. Again, you concentrate on first digit, and first two digits thirty seven. So five six are thirty. Let me try six six. Whatever number you write here, students, the same number you have to multiply. The whole number with six six are thirty six six five are thirty. So you might think it's very less, 
let's try with second number also 5077 seven. so 77 seven uh, seven seven the 49 seven fives are 35 all right this is correct but if you go for 8 we know 8 fives are 40 it will be more than this so this is correct 507 and here also we have we'll write 7 here also so this is 3 5 4 9 right so now you can subtract you can subtract and you will get something here you know you can do it 15 minus 4 is 6 5 minus 4 is 1 7 minus 5 is 2 216 just check is it right 9 5 15 1 5 plus 1 6 5 plus 2 7 correct but we need not go further why we will not go further reason is there's nothing here but if somebody says find the uh, square root of this, uh, you know, till three decimals. So you can just add zero zero. Another pair. And normally people will not ask, but let's say somebody says this is a number, but find out the square root of this till three decimals. You bring down zero zero and repeat the same procedure. You will get. You can do it till four digits, five digits also. But normally, this is the answer. Am I right? Okay, students. This is one question. Now we can do one more simple question also. By the long division method. Let's say the number maybe you all you randomly take any number. Let's say you take seven, two, eight, zero, plus five point five five. To five. 7 to 8, 0 0.5525. 5. Now, somebody says, find the square root of this. Now, first point, from the left side of point, first pair, second pair, and then this pair and this pair. From the left side, always start making pairs from the point, decimal. And decimal is not there, students. Let's say somebody asks you to find out the square root of 7, 0, 8, 5, 9. Square root of this. And then also you will not make pairs from this. You will start making pairs from left side. First pair, second pair, third pair. And you will start with 2 to the 4. So here, students, how we will start? So we have 72. Now we have 8, 8 is 64. 9, 9 is 81. So that will be correct. 8, 8 is 64. And now 12 minus 4 is 8, right? So now the second step, multiply this with 2. You get 16. And then bring down the first pair, 80. Now, how will you do? Now you can think of this. Maybe 5, you know, make a guess. Put 5 here. Put 5 here also. 5 fives are 25. 2 carry. 6 fives are 30 plus 2, 32 plus 1. 5 ones are 5 plus 3, 8. It's 825. It's perfect. So, this you have to make a guess. When you do more practice, you'll come to know because you concentrate on now uh, this, you know, uh, 165 here. And then same 5 here also. So you get 825. When you subtract, you get 5 here. 7 minus 2 is again 5. You get 5. Next is point. You put the point here also. Right? Next same. Multiply this quotient by 2. So you get 5 to the 10. 1 carry. 8 to the 16 plus 1. 17. Right? Now, see students again. You cannot... And this is 55 and this is again 55. You can bring this down 55. 55 was from here and the 55 from here. Here we need not add zero like the last question because we can, the minimum number to be added here is one. 
one one zero seven one seven zero one. This is less than this number, so we need not add zero. If this number had been less than one seven zero one, maybe this number. Let's say instead of fifty, we would have got nine. Let's say nine fifty five. Then we would have add zero. But this number is four digit number, is more than one seventy. Right, students? So what we do? Now we'll make a guess that seventeen. I think of seventeen and maybe fifty-five. So maybe let's try with three. One seven zero three three. Three three is a nine zero. Seven three is a twenty-one two. Three three one is a three plus two five five one zero nine. But let's try with another number also. One seven zero four. So when you try with one seven zero four into four is four four is a sixteen. Seven four is a twenty-eight two. Uh, four plus one plus two is six. So no, this is wrong. It should be less than this. So it will be one seven zero three here. You will put three here. You get five one zero nine. All right, students. Now fifteen. Take one carry. Fifteen minus nine is six. Here you have four, and five minus one is four. Check. Nine plus six is fifteen. One five four. Correct. Now you download the. Second pair that is twenty five, right, students? And you can change the color also. So the same formula. You have to multiply this by two. So three to the six, five to the ten, one carry eight to the sixteen plus one seventeen. Do it again. Three to the six, five to the ten, one carry eight to the sixteen plus one seventeen. Right now, one seven zero six and this. Now I again think one seven zero six. I must add some number here. Multiply by same number. I should get a number which is either equal to or less than, just less than this. Should not be more or less than this, right? So uh, now let me rub this. Uh, just one second. Let me rub this, and I go for pen. So we have one seven zero six. Take it. One way is I think of seventeen and think of forty four. So seventeen one the seventeen seventeen two is a thirty four seventeen three is a let me see fifty one. So three may not be there. Let's try with two. So it's two two is a four six two is a twelve. And seventeen to the thirty-four. All right, we got something good. So we we cannot do with three because seventeen three is a fifty-one. So it will be fifty-one thousand. So it will be two here, and two here. You multiply and divide, and finish here, right? So the answer is under root of seven two eight zero point five five two five under root. Is equal to eight five point three two. Now, this is the way students a long division method happens. All the best. Thank you.